In today's video, I'm going to teach you all about Substack Notes and how you can make the most out of this dynamic platform. Substack Notes offers users a fresh way to engage, share ideas and build a community around their writing. If you're familiar with platforms like Facebook or Twitter, you'll find many similar features available, but with Substack's unique twist. So let's dive in and explore each step to get you started. First, you'll need to navigate to Substack Home. This is your launchpad to everything Substack. Once there, look for your account icon conveniently located in the upper right corner. Clicking on this will reveal a drop down menu where you'll find the option labeled Home. Select that and you're now on your way to diving into the full experience of Substack Notes. From here, you will encounter the prompt that asks, what's on your mind? This is your opportunity to share a status or thought, much like you would on other social networks such as Facebook or Twitter. Feel free to express your ideas, jot down a spontaneous note, or share an update with your followers or the wider community. Once you have crafted your post, locate the post button and click it to publish your note. Now your message is out there for others to see and react to. As you scroll down your feed, you'll encounter posts from other users. This is where the interactive aspect of Substack truly shines. You can engage with their posts by clicking the heart icon if you appreciate their content or resonate with their message. If a particular post piques your interest, you have the option to leave a comment. Simply type your thoughts and hit send. This is an excellent way to start a conversation and engage with the Substack community more deeply. You'll notice a restack button, which is akin to retweeting on Twitter. Here you have options. Restack the post as it is, or add your note to it for additional context or commentary. This enriches the sharing process, providing more depth and personal insight. Additionally, you can share posts by clicking the share button. This gives you a variety of sharing options, whether you want to copy the link, send it as a message, embed it elsewhere, or share it directly to platforms like Facebook. For even more features, click on the three dots next to a post. This brings up a menu where you can follow the user, copy the link, save the post as an image, or even address any concerns you have with options to hide, mute, block, or report a user. And there you have it. With these tools and options, you are now set to effectively navigate Substack notes, engage with content, and grow your digital presence within the Substack community. Enjoy exploring and connecting. 